Hi everybody. How y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good because I've got another journal. This is a, uh, not a fabric journal of course as you can tell, but it does have some fabric over it. I put a, a toile background paper on it and it was really bold. So I just took some sheer fabric and adhered to the front of that. That's a lace sari ribbon. Not a lace sari ribbon. I was thinking of the background, I mean the spine and that at the same time. This is sari ribbon and this is lace. <laughs> and it's covered and it gives uh, the spine extra strength. And again here you can see this a little bit better. It, I didn't sew it down or glue it down because it's sheer and you would see nothing but glue bobs if I did that. So I just adhered it down the easy way. And... There's the side. Lots and lots of sewing in this one, as you can tell. And let's go inside. This wraps around. And wraps and wraps and wraps, which I love. Love it. And it is, it is secured here on the back. And like I said, if the threads drive you crazy, just cut them off. But I just love the threads. And going inside. Ooh, big envelope. I don't think I put anything in it. I didn't. But this will hold a lot of goodies, you know, for you. Oh, I did. Looky there. Who knew? A recipe card. Anything else in here? Oh, a couple recipe cards. Well, there we go. Big ones. These are big. These are the same size as the book. Oh, I didn't measure it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me put this back in here. And let's measure. It is... It is a four and an eighth, believe it or not, by seven and an eighth. I don't know how I did that one. Okay. On the inside, I just put the basic gray to kind of go with the black. Put some washi tape here. Gonna give it a little bit more character. Nice place to journal. And this is a nice place to put something if you wanted to, a picture maybe, and journal down on the bottom. And the, or you could put a big picture here and journal on this side if you wanted to. It's got a little bit of a recipe theme here. Doesn't have to be recipes. You know, and we all like food. And look, these are some old um, recipes. Lace cookies, I don't know what a, I guess a bell is a bell-shaped cookie. Pecan pralines. Oh my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't have put that in there. <laughs> and here it's been sewn on with a little salt and pepper shaker pattern background. And over here, some really crazy coffee dyed paper, which I love. And these are little portions of recipe cards for journaling. Isn't that cute? With the iced tea. That's one of my recipe cards that I've made, but I shrunk it down so it would fit. And a pocket. I like pockets that you can journal on too. Or write, you know, if you if you stuck some recipe cards and you've got space to do that here, you could, you know, list whatever you put in here. And we have some cards here for writing. Little orange. Over here is a half of a card. Pretty tomatoes. And some ephemera with the sewing on the side. Of course, I chose the black thread because of the black and white book. Now this, this is, I had gone to a, a, a flea market that's outside of Shreveport. And, um, I found envelopes, just tons of envelopes, and it was the newspaper clippings of people who wrote for the for the newspaper at the time, and it dated back to 1956. So I, I bought them, and it had the plates where they would take this image, you know, and they and they put it on the plate and run it. It was all old timey, and it was just the neatest thing. So I added that in there. That's the real deal. That came right out of one of those packages. And over here, we have uh, a coffee card to journal on. Does that come out? Nope, I put that on there so you could journal a little bit here. Look at the fork and knife. 
and back here we have another little card, and I put some of that um, glossy accents on top of it. And a salad bowl. And y you have more room. You know, you have a lot more room to add stuff. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put him down here so we can see the salad bowl. And turn in the page, another place to journal, and this is the other side of that uh, 1956 recipe thing from the journalist. Um, over here, another little recipe card that I made on coffee dyed paper. This is a little tuck spot. Let me see, I need a piece of paper. Here we go. You have a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. So you can, you can add your things. Same on this side. Tuck spot here and a tuck spot here with a little salt and pepper shaker on each side to decorate. Over here you've got a pocket and it's open both in the front and the back and I didn't put anything in there. Shame on me. I'm going to have to do that. So let me just mark that so I will remember to put something in there. Sewn on the edges here. See, I kind of give it a little shake when I'm sewing because I just like the irregularity. I just think it's neat. Over here, you've got a recipe card decorating back, and this is the second signature. A little journaling card, piece of ephemera. Another piece of ephemera. Got room to add all your own stuff. You know, I mean, you could you could tape or you could glue your recipes to it if you're gonna if you're gonna attach some recipe. Oh, you could use a paper clip. That would be kind of cool, yo. More places. Another piece of that. Um, look, August thirteenth, nineteen fifty-four. That was before I was born. It. I'm telling you, that was a long time ago. <laughs> What's cooking Labor Day weekend? And over here, a piece of ephemera. I did not stuff these. Shame on me. Slap myself. Shame on me. But it will be stuffed, I promise. I will put some goodies in there. Surprise goodies. And here's the other side of that piece of ephemera. That's all the natural aging. I didn't do anything to it. Mom's Diner, open 24 hours. A little paper clip. See, what I did, I just tied a little piece of sorry silk on that paper clip. So if you have something sentimental or something you're keeping, you could do the same thing to attach your... your add-ins if you didn't want to glue it down. And then, if you didn't glue it down, you would be able to, to journal here too. So it gives you double ways to journal. Another tuck spot here. Look, that old piece of ephemera, isn't that pretty? February 11th. I bet you this is from the 1954 stash that I have. I have so much ephemera, I, I decided to start putting the real thing in these books. Because it should just, you know, I keep buying it and keep buying it. Oh, recipe card. Get one pint of milk ticket. How many people remember getting milk delivered to your door? There you go. Farm fresh eggs. A little tuck spot here with a little kitchen aid and a recipe card to journal on in the back. More coffee dyed paper. Some biscuits. Biscuits and gravy. Can you tell them from the south? More coffee dyed, more coffee dyed. So you could really attach a lot of your stuff here, you know, and and if you were to pass this journal down for recipes, you know, you could on the card you could put on the card, you know, who you got the recipe from. I mean, who in your family or even outside your family, you know. Just as a piece of nostalgia. Other piece of that paper. There's a little lift up of a recipe card. And real pretty graphic. And it's been I don't know if you can see that, but I stamped it so it looks old and worn. And that's the inside again. I used the, the darkest uh, paper that I, I had to go with the black and the white. And there's the back and it's it's a hardcover. And there's the side again. 
and there's a piece of string again. And here's the front. I don't think I showed the, the front cover. So it would be great to put your recipe memories in here or any other kind of memories. You don't have to make this a recipe book. It can be anything that you wish it to be. Um, but I'm glad I got a chance to share it with you. I'm going to list this one in my Etsy shop. And thanks, y'all, for being here. I really appreciate your support. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.